Cause you were born with mischief in your eyes and fire in your veins. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome to my wrap up for Because Dragons Readathon. So, um, I didn't do too good today on the first day because if you didn't know, at least here in America, it was Labor Day. Um, so I ended up having like a cookout with my family and everything, so didn't get much reading done. But I did read, um, 90 pages of The Scorched Trials by James Dashner. And then I also read... 13 pages of A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass. Just because today I was really indecisive of what I wanted to read. Um, so I kind of started Akamath and then I came back inside and I read Scorch Trials instead. Um, but yeah, so I've only read 103 pages. I wasn't expecting to get much reading done today. And also Wednesday is going to be hard for me. But other than that, I should be able to power read and get through my books. Um, today being Labor Day, which is why today was hard. Wednesday is because of that little girl right there. Callie Mae. Hi. Do you have surgery on Wednesday? She does. Uh, Miss Dane is finally going to get spayed and I'm stressing out about it because of my anxiety and the fact that she is for all intents and purposes my emotional support animal um still waiting to get that note from a psychiatrist that says that she legally is <laughs> but um my anxiety has not had me been able to call a psychiatrist yet uh for those of you who care um but yeah so Hopefully soon I'll get that done. But yeah, hopefully today, which is Tuesday, I'll get to read a lot. But I'm not sure. So yeah, I'll see you guys all in a bit for Tuesday's wrap up. Bye everyone. Hey guys, so the sevens just wrapped up. Um, didn't read it all on the fifth. Didn't read it all on the sixth. Obviously, I have a good excuse for it. I, I, I feel like the thing, it's a good enough excuse. Um, if you didn't see on Twitter, or if you didn't know, I, I have mentioned it. Um, or at least I mentioned it in the clip before this. I don't know if I mentioned it after that. But uh, Callie had surgery on Wednesday, which was the 6th, because she needed to be spayed. Um, I was more of a wreck than she was. <laughs> Uh, she's fine, she's resting, doing all that, but, um, you know, the 5th, I was just super stressed out. I was worried about her, I was worried about how yesterday would go. Um, she's great, she's fine, happy as can be now that, you know, she's getting her pills and everything. Oh shoot, I forgot to give her her pain meds, I need to do that. Um, I will do that after this video, after this clip, but yeah. Uh, yesterday I was a complete wreck. Understandable. My dog, who is my emotional support, had to go have surgery. Uh, so yeah, she's okay. But I didn't get any reading done these last two days because of that. But today, the 7th, I read, I didn't read that much because I've been taking care of her, but I read 53 pages of The Scorched Trials by James Dashner. So overall, I haven't finished a day book for this, but I have read about 156 pages, um, which isn't that good for me usually, but I, I mean, with the way this week has been, um, super stressful, super happy to keep her calm and make sure she's resting, it's understandable. Um, so the rest of this week is kind of up in the air of how much I'm going to read. And same with next week because of the fact that um, she has to keep the collar on for two weeks. We're not going to see her doctor, her vet, until the 15th. Um, so next Friday. So yeah, I don't know how much I'm going to read next week either. Because she's going to want to be jumping around and she's not going to be allowed to. But yeah, um... I'm gonna go. 
hopefully read some. I gotta go give her her pain medicine. Not that she has needed it, but I'm gonna give it to her and make sure she's okay. I don't want her to start hurting. So yeah, I'll see you guys all later. Bye. Hey guys, so it's just after midnight on the 9th, so Friday, aka September 8th, is done with um, for the readathon, and I basically doubled my page count today. Um, Callie is doing much better today, she's over there resting, um, but she's doing a lot better. So, <laughs> I managed to finish the last 107 pages of The Scorched Trials by James Dashner today, and I'm actually going to count this for my book in blue, with blue on it for, you know, his name is in light blue and then the sky is kind of a bluish gray. Um, so yeah, I'm going to count this for my book with blue on it. Only because I decided that instead of reading A Court of Mist and Fury afterwards, um, I'm going to work on finishing Empire of Storms because I ended up buying Tower of Dawn um, on Wednesday while Callie was in her surgery. So yeah. Um, so on top of this, I also read 62 pages of Empire of Storms by Sarah J. Mass. Um, so yeah, I think the only challenge I'm actually going to complete is the book with blue on the cover, but whatever. I wasn't really focused on challenges like I said before. Um, this was mostly working on my September TBR and just using a readathon to do it because I always, I most of the time, usually I'll say, uh, I usually read more during a readathon than I do just in a normal week, but... Obviously, this week was weird um, with Callie's surgery and everything. So, in total today, I finished one book, read 169 pages, which um, turned my overall total into one book finished, but then I read 325 pages so far. Um, yeah, I doubled my page count today. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, there's two days left of the readathon. We'll see how I do. I'm really hoping that I can at least get a majority of Empire of Storms read and finished. Um, I'm, I'm actually not hoping to finish it because I want something to read on Monday. Um, but I have Warcross coming in on Tuesday, so that'll get that'll basically be what I pick up as soon as um, it gets delivered. So yeah, but yeah. I'm gonna go and read some more and watch some YouTube because that's what I do. So yeah, I'll see you guys all in a little bit. Bye everyone. Hey guys, so it's just past midnight. Um, so September 9th is done with. We have one more day of the readathon. Uh, I didn't do too bad today. I didn't get nearly as much read as I would have liked, but had a pretty, uh, well, mainly uneventful day. I slept a lot. Um, the stress finally caught up with me and I've just been sleeping. But Miss Tate is doing great. She's over there laying down. Um, and then when I woke up, my mom was like, hey, you need to go look down the street. Like two houses over, there was a desk um, that just got put out to the road and I picked it up. Uh, it's in great condition. It must have been that the person just either, we think that house got abandoned. Uh, and now that it's getting put up for sale, um, maybe they're cleaning it out or something, because there's no one living there, so it was weird. But, desk is in perfect condition, so I grabbed it. There's Mew. Mew is up here, as always. But yeah, so, today I read only 20 pages of Empire of Storms. I'm just, I'm not feeling it right now. Um... I just feel like I don't want to really focus on it more than anything. Um, I don't know. It just today was a weird day for reading. I just didn't feel like reading it. But before I fell asleep last night, I read 50 pages of I have I don't have a good grip on this. Cinderella dressed in ashes by Cameron Jace. I get really read to him. Um, but yeah, it was about 20% of the book. And I read 50 pages. Not bad. It's like a 250 page book. It's it's not long at all. Um, yeah. 
This is getting better if you can't tell. I know it still looks bad, but I'm not as sorry about you seeing it now than I was a couple days ago. Because it's healing. But then I ended up reading 90 page, 97 pages of Hourglass by Claudia Gray. Uh, this is a library book, so that's why I decided to pick that up and see if I could get through some more of that compared to Empire Storms. Just because I was sitting here trying to read Empire Storms, and it was like... I didn't want to hold it, it was just, oh. So yeah. Um, overall today I read 167 pages, and for the total for the readathon so far, I finished one book, and I'm cracking my neck, read 492 pages, and I will see you guys all tomorrow for the final wrap up of the readathon. So see you guys then. Bye. Hey guys, so the final day of Because Dragons Readathon is done with, and I did pretty dang good today. This was my best day of the week. Um, excuse me, I just burped a little. I finished the last 242 pages of Hourglass by Claudia Gray. Um, yeah, I'm excited because now I can finish off the other ones that are on this second shelf here. But yeah. I also read all 49 pages of Liam's story by Alexandra Bracken. Hello, Popes! She's actually awake when I'm doing a video for once. And she's trying to get that coat off and she can. Callie Mae. Wanna say hi? Hey, say hi to everyone. Say hello, everyone! <laughs> She's full of it today. She's got one more pill left, so she's doing really good. Um, and then I read 39 pages of Wayfarer by Alexandra Bracken. So not too bad for today. Happy with that. So in total today, I finished two books and read 330 pages. And overall, for Because Dragons Read Us On, I finished three books and read 822 pages, which isn't bad. Not my best, so nah, I'm not really happy with that, but it was understandable with everything that happened this week, so yeah. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Uh, be sure to let me know if you've read any of the books that I read. Um, and if you participated, how did you guys do? Uh, yeah, let me know. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Be sure to subscribe for more, though. Bye, everyone. Cause you were born with mischief in your eyes and fire in